Are you someone who enjoys designing for the laser? Well, if you want to try a score design, have we got a shortcut for you. We'll also be showing you how you can format your artwork to score onto a wood round. We'll show you how to confine this artwork in the middle of the circle and delete everything outside of it. Color outside the lines. Whenever you do just a regular trace, and I'll show you this example, this is an Inkscape. So I would normally go into Trace Bitmap. I would keep the brightness cut off here. Hit Apply. Drag that away. Now, if you're confused about which one is your Trace Bitmap, all you have to do is zoom in and you can see that one is not pixelated and this one is. So you can safely delete this one and this becomes your engrave artwork. But what if you don't want to engrave it? What if you want to do a single score line? Then you've got a bit of a problem here because what ends up happening is you end up with double lines and let me show you what I mean by that. If I remove the fill you can see we're left with these double lines. And that's not a great look for scoring. It's very busy, it's not cohesive, and it's just not what you want. So I'm going to show you what you can do to resolve that. And this is a quick and easy way to do it in Inkscape without having to redraw it over again in a program like Illustrator. Um, I'm not that familiar with Inkscape, so I imagine that you can draw in Inkscape too. I just don't know how. So this is the quick and easy way to do it. Let's re-import our graphic and I'll show you from the start. Here's a quick way to turn any artwork into line art if you want to score it. Right now our artwork is looking like it's going to engrave because it's going to fill in these fill areas here. Otherwise you'll get like double score lines which is pretty unsightly. So what you want to do is make sure your artwork is highlighted. You want to go up to Path trace bitmap and then here on the right hand side instead of brightness cutoff you want to select center line tracing now all you have to do is apply and it doesn't look like anything has happened but what you need to do is drag it over delete your original and there you go you've got your line work ready to score wasn't that fast it's so much faster than having to draw all over again in a program like Illustrator. I think this is a huge time saver. So let's go ahead and save this. So File, Export. Then I'm going to come over here and I want it to be plain SVG. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to save it. And there you go, you're done. Now you can incorporate it into anything that you like for your laser. I'm gonna be uh, creating this on my Xtool P2. So let's see what we can do with it. I'm gonna bring it into Illustrator to finish this off. Once you have your artwork arranged, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna copy and we're gonna open up another file And we're just going to paste it. Once your artwork is on the new artboard, we're going to use the selection tool, select the circle, and we're going to copy it, control C, but we're not going to do anything with it yet. Now what you want to do is you want to create a shape that covers the entire artboard. So I'm going to go to the rectangle, and I'm just going to draw right over it. Now again, I'm going to use the selection tool and I'm going to hit my shift key and I'm going to select both the circle and the rectangle. Now I'm going to make this a compound shape and you do that by pressing control eight. As you can see on the left hand side here, it's now a compound path. Now I'm going to swap my fill and stroke so it ends up being black. 
Now I'm going to do Control A. I'm going to select everything. I'm going to come over to the Pathfinder. If your Pathfinder isn't already open in your side panel, just navigate to it using the window pull down menu at the top of your screen. And I want to click Outline. Now I'm just going to deselect. As you can see, everything within the circle looks like it's disappeared, and everything outside of the circle is what you want to delete. So we're going to use now the Direct Selection tool, this white arrow. We're just going to click anywhere on the outside of this. We're going to select Same, and we're going to go to Stroke Color. That selects everything outside of the circle because it's now a different color stroke. Then we're simply going to hit our delete key and it looks like everything has disappeared. But if you hit your selection tool, you can see it's still there. So we're going to give it back its stroke color. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my blue here because that's what I'm using for score. Now if I click away, you'll see the artwork is back, but we've lost our circle. So that's where you're going to go edit, paste in front, and you've got that back. Now you can select everything and you're going to copy it over to your original file and you can save it because this is going to be our source file. Now before I close this, I'm going to save it as an SVG. So file save as, click SVG, Leaping Frog, and I'll go ahead and save that. I'm going to keep these defaults. I've got SVG 1.1, decimal places of 4. I'm going to embed the artwork just in case. It does make the file bigger, but I like to do that. It's better to be safe than sorry. We'll OK that. And now we can go ahead and print this. Now, there is one more thing that you might want to add. I'm just grabbing this text from the original source file, then I'll copy it over to the SVG. You just might want to add some text. Now, because this is text, you want to create outlines. And let me zoom in and show you. You're going to have these overlapping paths here, as you can see. So you want to select everything, come over to the Pathfinder, and you want to hit Merge. Now if you zoom in, you can see that all those overlapping shapes are gone. Merging creates one solid shape that the laser is going to recognize and be able to score in one easy flow. I think this would look great cut out in um, cast acrylic. So if you do want to add that, which eventually will be here, what you want to do is size it, and that looks okay. Now I'll drag it off and save it separately. Before I laser print this, I do like to save it as a compound path. So to do that, you would do Control-8. And because I'm cutting it, I'll give it an outline of black. And there, you've got your wording. So this is already saved as an SVG. I can just go ahead and save it again. And now we're done. We can go ahead and print this on our laser. So that's how you do a single score file and get it ready to be printed on your Xtool P2 laser. You can find the full tutorial over at birdsofafeather.ca and don't forget to like, share and follow right here. Want more unique crafts and DIYs? Be sure to watch another video.